Okay. Hi, everybody, or everybody who will be here at some point in the near future. My name is Brigetta. I'm a foster for Gateway Pet Guardians. Uh, I'm not on the team, but I do have a foster who is Chico. Ooh, come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. Say hi. Turn around. Come on. This is Chico, if you could see him. Oh. Oh. And he loves enrichment activities, so we're going to demo one for you. Uh, he loves enrichment activities because he's a little bit shy when he meets people, so he doesn't want to bring out uh, toys or anything, but he's very curious and he loves sniffing everything, so it's perfect for him. Today we're doing something called the foraging box, which is one of Chico's favorites. Basically what it is, it's a box that uh, the dogs have to dig through to find their food and kind of hunt it down. The benefits of it are the enrichment components, which is what Katie went over yesterday, it, it stimulates their sensory um, because they're taking in the sounds of the paper inside the box, which I'll show you. They're smelling things, they're digging through it. So it stimulates all the senses. Um, feeding, all dogs' favorite things. Chico is very food motivated, so he loves the feeding part. And uh, it makes them work for their food, which as Katie said yesterday, dogs love most of the time. Uh, it gives them mental exercise because they're not just piling in the food, they actually have to work for it. Uh, and it stimulates the sniffing and foraging instincts. So most dogs, but particularly Chico, on walks, etc., they wanna smell everything, they wanna find everything. It makes them feel like a real dog, even though they're inside all day. And this really makes that happen. So what you need for this, this is literally the easiest, I think. You need a box of some sort. I know Katie uses, I think, banana crates at the shelter. I just have a box from my copious Amazon orders. You could use a shoe box, any container. You need paper of some sort. I use newspaper because I get a lot of coupons in the mail that I do not want, but you could use butcher paper, anything you're putting in the recycling really. And you're gonna need food or treats of some sort. I use um, some kibble, some treats that he likes broken up, you could use real food like veggies or fruits or something, but Chico's not down with that, so that's not what we do. Um, you can't see right now, but Chico knows what this means, so Chico's trying to get into it right now. What you're gonna do is, sorry bud, you're gonna take your box, you have sheets of paper, you just crumple them up and put them in the box. Hey, knock it off. Um, he's getting very excited. I have some that are already kind of crumpled. And you're gonna make kind of a layer on the bottom. And then as you make layers, so I have a, you know, I have a start. You're just gonna take whatever you're putting in, the kibble, the treats, whatever, and kind of sprinkle it in. So there's some on every layer, on every piece. So it's not too easy to find. And the reason you use normal food that they're used to and treats is some things are high reward like treats they don't get all the time people food etc so that really gets them going and gets them excited but you don't want to give high reward treats all the time because then or at least with my spoiled fosters they start expecting those treats all the time so after you do your first layer with the food you're just going to put another keep crumpling it up you can put as many layers as you want I tend to put a lot because uh, Chico really gets in there, but if your dog isn't as invested in enrichment activities as Chico is, you can just, you can take it easy. Also worth noting, as Katie said yesterday, I did not feed him as much this morning because I knew we would be doing this and I like to put a good amount of food in here. So he usually eats about a cup and a half. Uh, for his meals and he just got a cup this morning um, so I can put a lot in here Okay. 
we're gonna call that good um, for how much is in there. So it kind of looks like this. It just honestly looks like a box of, of um, a box of trash, but it's very exciting to him. He is um, getting all sniffy. If you can see him down here creeping at the bottom. Uh, so now I just let's see if I can flip it around. So this is my dude. Sit. Paw. Yeah, good job. Wait. I just, I make him sit. Uh, 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 uh. He's not great at it. I make him sit and wait. But he doesn't always do it. Thank you. I put it down. No, 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 no. Come on. Thank you. Good boy. So you can see the box over here. And he's going to go for it. Some dogs will shred and get into it. Chico is not the shredding type, but if your dog does that, it's totally fine. He mostly just sticks his head in and then walks around until he gets everything, which is kind of silly. So ideally, like most dogs, they're gonna get their paws in there, they're gonna dig around um, like they're digging a hole outside. As I said, that's not Chico's thing. He uses his head and his nose to do all the work. Uh, it can get a little messy. I guess you could say he's thinking with his head. Yeah, was that good? Got a little tail wag going. Oh my goodness. So I guess we inadvertently got some uh, digging action there. Chico's gonna clean up the floor a little bit, but um, does anybody have any questions? It's pretty simple, uh, pretty easy to do. You can do it with anything that's in your house, honestly, uh, which is good for enrichment activities because it's just gonna get torn up eventually anyway. I don't think anybody has anything. If you think of anything, this is going to get posted in the event page, so you can just comment underneath it, and all of us are pretty familiar at Gateway with how to do this, and um, we can easily answer. Uh, Chico is still tearing it up, making a good mess for me, and it's pretty much all gone, because as, as, as much as you hide it, it is just newspaper inside. All gone, bud? Now he's gonna investigate all the paper and make sure all the snacks are gone. Clean up the rest of his mess. We have our box. Are you ready for it, buddy? You excited? Okay, ready? Stay. Stay. Okay, free. Free. You know how I know that this is extra fun? Because a dog just walked by the front out there and she didn't even notice. 
Wow, Sandy, what's in there? Wow. And you've got Littles. Yeah, these are a little box.